Welcome back to Unknown Serial Killers. If you're new to this series, we're exploring the little-known serial killers from all around the globe. Now, with all that out of the way, this is the story of Vicki Dawn Jackson, this angel of death that haunted the halls of Nakona General Hospital in Texas from 2000 to 2001. Vicki had been a nurse or a nurse's aide since high school. During this time period, she would bandage, feed, administer medication, and just general all-over care for the residents of Nakona, Texas. By all accounts, she was viewed as a caring, sweet professional. It's always the ones we least suspect, am I right? Vicky seemed fairly predictable. She would always stop by her local Dairy Queen, order her standby meal, a taco basket, enjoy her food, hop in her car, and make the short drive to Nakona General, a tiny 18-room hospital. On December 11th, 2000, Vicky would decide to shake up her predictable routine after stealing a vial of myvacurium chloride. She loaded a syringe and started roaming the halls trying to decide upon a victim. Unfortunately, Donna Alice Jennings would be the first of many victims to have their last breath taken by the syringe she used. Now, we need to address the fact that this wasn't a mercy kill by the Angel of Death. Kevin Benton, an investigator with the Montauk County District Attorney's Office, said in quote, She wanted people dead. Lots of people. She wouldn't stop at just one murder either. Vicki even went so far as to poison and kill her husband's grandfather, personally tell him the news, then bring potato salad to the meal after the funeral. Her spree wouldn't come to an end until February 18th, 2001. Nakona General Hospital recorded an unusually large surge in patient deaths between December 2000 and February 2001. The ages of the deceased ranged from 62 to 100, so it's no surprise these deaths were chalked up to older age and natural causes. That is, until the hospital's administrator, Charles E. Norris, decided to contact a pharmacist about vials of myvacurium chloride that were found to be missing. During this time, multiple lawsuits were filed against Vicki. One lawsuit brought by 61-year-old Donnelly Reed, who claimed that Vicki had injected a drug into his IV tube. While Reed survived the ordeal thanks to another nurse who came to his aid, unfortunately would die two months later from pneumonia. The dominoes continued to stack up against Vicky. She was fired from her nursing position and forced to take a job at a local grocery store. Little did she know, there was a joint investigation by the local police, the Texas Rangers, and the FBI to investigate the deaths of more than 20 patients who may have been poisoned. Vicky was arrested on July 26, 2002 and booked on four capital murder charges. She was held on a $2 million bond while authorities continued to exhume bodies. In 2004, she was charged with six additional murders and her bond raised to $6 million. She remains behind bars to this day, with her earliest possible parole date being in 2042. What do you guys think? Have you ever heard of this angel of death, Vicki Jackson, before now? 
let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for more Unknown Killers. Until next time, stay safe and alert.